Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck Entertainment for another video of New World. You guys have to tell me, do you better like Dolbeck with airs or without air? Uh, I realized today I paused the Call of Duty video and since Call of Duty is at the end of the season and it's pretty hard to create content, that video is not gonna do view. But the subject is kinda insane and I need to speak about this. So. I'm going to put the link uh, into the description if you guys want to see it. But I'm going to just tell you what happened. Alright. So I've met the most toxic woman I've seen in a video game ever. And uh, most of the time you got, it's men that you're going to hear that are seeing toxic shit. And they are mostly banter. You see like men are so much used to be toxic with each other that are like more banter. But... That woman was filled with anger and she spit all his anger on me and it was dirty. She had like the most dirty heart you can find. And there is some fact that we can for sure say. Um, she's probably fat. She's probably American and black. And I don't judge any of those countries, but she... Uh, was saying that she was not liking some other country, so like you need to go see that. It's I I never thought that some American people wouldn't like uh, some Mexican people, but I can understand with the Trump story and the wall and stuff. But it it go kind of far. Like uh, it it she even brings some turn that I never heard of, like border bunny and stuff like that. And she said that she hate, um, she, she, no, she don't hate, she don't like, we need to make sure that YouTube don't, don't take my word for like a racist, all right? So uh, she said that she don't really appreciate the, um, that the Mexican people is near her and the French people is near her in Canada too. And uh, she keep uh, telling us to go back in our country, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, I, I'm a Canadian. And I'm French. And this is my country. I'm in Canada. Uh, there's a part of the Canada that is Quebec. Uh, and that... It, it, she probably did not listen at school. Because Quebec is mostly French. We speak English and French. But it's the first language. It's, fr it's French. And it's near the border of United States, really close to it. So if you look on the map, Quebec, it just there's a United States and Quebec is just on top of it. All right. So yeah, I was not like uh, I always hear, hear the people saying, "Oh, we have pro uh, the black people for some reason have problem in uh, America or something," but I've never seen some races once never once in my life that i've seen it but i've seen a lot of uh, white people getting bullied by black people though they did this i've seen this a lot in my life like uh, what happened over there is to uh, they, they, they are in gang like uh, the people of the same kind of color are staying in gang together and those gangs are doing uh, crim crimes and stuff, and they, there's way they are just making more crimes and just like that. But you know, I, I don't judge them. It's just how would it be? Like I mean, I I'm I live in foster family when I was young, so I've been with them. Like it, over there, the one who mo who do the biggest uh, cr crime is like the Native American and then the the black and then the white and the white are not like uh, you know um sometimes you're gonna see a, like a school shooter here and here but it's not like the real violence is not there like uh like i i, I had i've seen everything and like you know if you're real tough nobody's gonna try to harm you like they see you like an alpha and they're gonna follow you like uh how to say that like, like uh dogs it's white men is just like that so yeah i was just surprised that and it was coming from probably a black person because she kept saying the n-word so 
Uh, there's no white people that just keep saying the N word, like it just makes no sense. So does that mean that she's probably Afro American? So yeah, uh, in my childhood in video game, it's always been the same, and now I, I kind of start to realize it. Um, you know, I, in the first game I've played, there was no online multiplayer, like in Zelda, okay, enough time, stuff like that. I did those games, there was English, there was no French version in Canada. So I beat those games in English, even if I was French, it was hard, almost impossible. And then they put out some game like Counter Strike 1.6 and uh, World of Warcraft and Rune Escape. And then in those games, I started to have real human interaction in English and I was French. And uh, I had a small, small, squishy voice. Like I, it was between 8 and 12 year, year old. People was thinking I was a girl in the mic. So just imagine the interaction I had with everyone just laughing when I was getting into a lobby. Of grown men just uh, kick him, kick him, and uh, laughing because I had a French accent, and it, it was just non stop. So, yeah, on kids, I've seen it happen non stop, and it happened to me all my childhood. So, it's why when I, I you probably seen me if you played with me, what, when I see a kid and I know he's good, and I don't judge him because he's speaking like a kid. Like, if, doing, if he's doing some weird shit, I'm not gonna play with him, but. I kind of accept them in my group. I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't like your voice or something. But some dude are really like that. And like, you, you can see those type of people. It's weird. And then you're going to say, I'm going to bring something kind of real. Uh, over here, if I look uh, in Canada, it's mostly the Chinese people. People say that the Chinese people sell the item too cheap and they are breaking the commercial activity and na 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 na. So over there, the talk is mostly about Chinese. But I guess in the United States, you have to play with the Mexican, the Chinese, and then the, the Canadian. I guess you're like surrounded a bit more than the Canada that is like... If you look at the geographical situation of the Canada, the only country that is near us is the American, uh, the U United States. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look real quick. Uh, I said that she probably don't like herself and it's why she hate on people. She don't even deny and she don't deny that she's fat and she don't like, uh, yeah. So this I, I, I'm telling her that she probably hates herself and it's why she's bullying people on the, online and she don't even deny that too. So yeah, she's probably a really bad person. She probably even destroyed some men in her life. Uh, that type of woman is really dangerous and probably is going to destroy some men in her life. Uh, and you see, if she is able to go hard like this, is because they're simps. There's some dude who are really too kind with women, just like I've been all my life, and now I, I realize it, like, past seven years ago. If you're too kind when, with women, they, they turn in, like, a villain. So you need to be, like, just uh, how to say that. There's, like, a balance. Don't be too kind with women. Just des treat, treat them like they deserve to be treated. If they don't deserve to be treated good, why would you treat them good? Because they are women, nah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't really have anything against Chinese because, you see, uh, there's a part of my life that I really, like, I, I was repairing bike a lot. Like, it was my main job, repairing bike. And when I was buying my tool, uh, uh, buying Chinese tools saved my life a lot of time. It, like, you you want an American tool? You're gonna pay like between forty to to seventy bucks just for a special key made to to like uh, how to say that? Uh, you see that where you have the pedal on the bike, you need to dismantle that. There's a special key for that, and then it was selling it like between forty to seventy bucks online. You go look for the Chinese product. They are like between eight to like twenty five bucks. So. Yeah, Chinese are not that bad, and if you know how to use it, you just you can just break break the the wheel. Because right now, if you want to start uh, any business, it's pretty hard. You're gonna need to ask people for money. 
the government want to give you money to start and then you need to pay them back with interest so yeah buy uh buying some chinese stuff you're going to be able to start by yourself without asking money to people and you you're not gonna like owe money your whole life or like 10 years after starting a company so that's uh, amazing for me i like uh, i like to be able to buy from other country i think that buying too much in our country can be bad and uh, we need to buy into other country to create a balance if we don't create a, how to say that um the fact that we bring other country in there uh, it makes low price so to have like a challenge it challenge our price so our price is getting lower because of them so maybe there's some people who cry but it's good for me so yeah so which term you guys hear the most like border bunny uh she was saying hara or something i don't even understand this part like i'm, I'm french you know but yeah, she was uh, just keep saying that. Like, it was the first time for me. Do you guys hear that a lot? It's, and the way she was saying, she, she, was, she was saying it, it was like she said it a lot in her life. So yeah, tell me, is, is there some term like this that you hear a lot um, about the other country? Uh, and I was surprised that you see it's a woman that ate that art and not a man. So that's crazy. Um, so when this happened, you see, like I did in the video, I don't really react. I, I just sit there and listen and say some funny stuff. Like uh, I don't take them, take her really serious. And I don't re like, why would I get offended by someone like that? There's just no reason. So I'm just there and having fun with it. And you guys have to tell me, do you better like Dolbeck with airs or without air? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, about that shit, it, it's really weird. Um, it's to cut the air wait a second i need to make sure you guys see it good it's made to cut the air right oh yeah you see it good that's perfect and when you put it on look it's at on that should spin in there and then you can cut your air like this <laughs> so i saw that in the it, it, it was selling that and i saw that I was like oh it seems like it's gonna be easy to cut my hair i'm gonna try that so i'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with my hair sometime and uh, sometime i go make it make them cleaner a real haircut but um, you know i i don't really chase a woman right now or anything i'm just like really focused in my work so like i don't care that much on my appearance so i'm going with the army uh army thing so yeah i want everyone to tell someone you love him have a good day peace out